oh yeah, hey guys. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I'm supposed to say. It's for to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back. Let the music play. Why not? All right, all right. Hey, let's watch Drug Tee in his M3 GFT. Poor little guy. Look at him here. Look at his view range. <laughs> He's got a 50% crew. He's stock. He just started playing. And uh, this is the perfect game to illustrate a, uh, a point I want to make, some advice I want to give you. I'm wa I want to give you some advice. And ironically, the advice I want to give you is that you shouldn't really listen to people's advice. <laughs> Seriously, let me explain. Can I explain? Let's watch uh, Drug Tee here and a little bit about the game. It's a, it's a little shitty tier three game. He's in a tank that he's got a 50 pretty didn't even can't even afford the silver to get a 70 or 80 percent crew. He's got a 50 percent crew. <laughs> he's in a shit little stock tank and he's got a teammate on his team. Drufta from the OTG clan who's in a Panzer 2J that uh, pay to win tank. Well, it used to be pay to win when it came out. But now with the power creep in the game, it's uh, pay to have your ass kicked and lose credit tank. But he uh, got that tank probably paid about three or four hundred dollars to get a Panzer 2J in the hundreds of dollars. That's the that's the build up. That's the setting. And uh, let me give you some advice. Uh, well, you know, I've read a lot of your comments. Some you guys send me uh, messages and stuff. And one of the messages that I get a lot uh, from you guys are, understandably, is, uh, "Hey, Klaus, should I start a YouTube channel?" A lot of you guys are. You know, wanna wanna be YouTubers or gamers or streamers, and for some reason now that uh, I'm I've got a few subscribers and a uh, you know, certain amount of people that watch, I'm by no means the biggest or most successful channel. Uh, but you guys are asking, uh, uh, sh should I uh, give me some advice? Should I start a channel myself or should I start streaming? And uh, my answer to you is, well, you know, don't listen to my advice because or don't listen to anyone's advice. Do it if you want to uh, and make up your own mind. But if you really want the advice, let me give the best advice I can give you and, and kind of go through a little bit of my experience. And basically, um, y you're on your own, okay? And 90% uh, of success is just showing up. So if you don't show up, if you're just thinking about it and you don't do it, you, you won't like you won't be successful if you say well I want to be a successful streamer should I start streaming uh, and if you just uh, ponder that question in your head uh, life uh, is what happens to you while you're busy thinking about things and uh, life will go by and you will not be successful and you will not stream or you will not be a youtuber if you don't try it because 90% of success is just showing up so first piece of advice is well if you think you want to and you have the desire for whatever reason then give it a shot just do it that's what I did, okay? A second uh, little bit of advice. Uh, be expected or be, be expecting to find no support whatsoever amongst uh, anyone you know. <laughs> and I don't, that's a bit cynical uh, putting it like that because I'm sure uh, there are some people I know that uh, are supportive. But my point is that when you start, uh, there will be some people that uh, enjoy and like what you do. Uh, th those people do exist out there and they will watch and they will appreciate things you do. But the, for every hundred people that appreciate and like your stuff, uh, and those people will watch or experience whatever you do and say, oh, that was okay. And that's it. That it, it, They've used up the eight minutes in their life to watch your video and uh, they may not subscribe and they may not click like, but they enjoyed it in the back of their mind. They say, oh, yeah, that was haha," -ha, And they move on with the rest of their day because you're no big whoopee shit thing in their life, right? You, they, they've watched your eight minutes. You got uh, 14 views that day on your second video. Uh, and those people enjoyed it. But for every uh, hundred that enjoyed it, there's one or two that will um, 
go out of their way to uh, troll and ridicule and insult and berate and do the best they can to try and troll you out of pursuing whatever it is you want to, to try and embarrass you and, and ridicule you enough to make it their mission to try and stop you from ever making another video again. That the, there are, and these, you have to understand, are the minority. But in the beginnings, when you don't have... Uh, you know, a lot of people watching or a lot of people following, they will represent the majority in uh, your comment section or on the forums or, or uh, whatever. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here? When you're starting, be ready to just be hated uh, by, you will think, everyone. Uh, but it's not. You have to understand that that's not the case. But that's what it will seem like. It seems like you... and. That leads into the third bit of advice here. Do not, do not advertise or put anything on the forums, which, uh, which I did. The forums are a cesspool of hate mongering. Uh, uh, just a, a handful of, uh, of clueless morons that, uh, that just hang out there and their purpose is to just uh, troll and berate and hate on everyone. Uh, unbelievable what happens in the forums. Uh, just an example, a while ago I did a, a video about how you can make millions of credits selling the emblems and things that piled up in your garage over the years and, and one guy made a three four million credits selling them and he thought oh I'll share this on the forums because you know maybe some people would want to make some credits and he posted the video on the forums uh, I kind of went and looked at it and uh, he got immediately 30 or 40 hate comments why are you posting this everyone knows this already uh, 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 read the previous post before you waste our time you're such an idiot like holy shit the poor guy wondered what what the hell about just trying to help some people out and just a cesspool of hate uh this is a pretty negative video so far isn't it <laughs> but remember 90 percent of success is just showing up and doing what you want and you should do what you want and just show up and give it a shot and don't let uh People talk you out of it. Now, even your closest buddies, uh, that when you start, you'll say, "Hey, I'm I'm starting a YouTube channel. I'm making videos uh, every once a week," and you'll think, "Oh, he's my buddy. He's gonna you know, he's gonna watch, and he's gonna click like." And then you go out to lunch with the guy uh, a couple of months later and you say, "Hey, did you enjoy that one I did with the puppet with the girls?" and and he'll look at you and say, uh, uh, "What do you mean, what puppet?" Uh, and you'll realize with the look in his eyes immediately that. Oh, he hasn't watched any. And then he'll change the conversation and say, oh, hey, ever thought of going back to work? Uh, yeah, what are you doing at home all day? You know, aren't you going to start working again? Well, I did work and I hated it and I got fired. Now I'm doing something else. If you, didn't I mention that I was, you know, and you have to realize that uh, basically you're on your own. But that's not a bad thing. You will realize that out of the word woodwork will come people that support you, people that you least expected would. And that makes sense because... Uh, people that were in your circle before you ventured out to try something different were part of your world and you were part of their world and now you have changed something you're doing something different and those people that were part of your world may think well what is he doing he's doing something different what, what a weirdo like, what a loser he's gonna fail at that and that's the natural reaction now watch the map here we're, we're changing it back to the game you see Drufto in the Panzer 2J he's dead he's in a $300 pay to win tank and uh, he's pinging the little, he's pinging here, he's pinged up on the, uh, pinged where, th use the bush, he's saying. He's pinged up on the hill and now he's pinged his location because, see, he's trying to be helpful, right? Use the bush, exclamation mark. Okay, don't use the bush. Do um, you think he's interested in giving advice, uh, helping this guy out? No, he's not interested in giving advice. He's interested in himself, uh, whether he's going to win in his $300 tank because he, he rolled out in his $300 tank that costs 100,000 credits to play each game because it spams, uh, uh, has to spam uh, premium ammo three or 400 shots a game. <laughs> it has armor like a, like a tier uh, 5 KV-1 and it's a tier 3 light tank. But Wargaming has balanced it by introducing a whole bunch of new tanks that just have ridiculous penetration at Tier 3, so it doesn't matter. So uh, getting back to the topic at hand, uh, the advice, should you start a YouTube channel or start streaming or start anything different in life, is uh, my point is be careful the advice you get from those that are uh, quote-unquote close to you, that are part of your world, 
that are comfortable with you doing what you are doing. And if you suggest any kind of change, we'll be like, oh, wh what? I, why can't you just uh, go to work and come home and aerate your lawn like the rest of us? You know, they will be uncomfortable with you stepping out. Uh, and some strangers that you've never met uh, may actually uh, be better to give you advice. Now, there's a difference between advice, support, and guidance and just judgment, right? Most people just give you judgment. They judge you. Oh, that's a stupid idea. Why are you going to waste your time doing that? Uh, there are very few people that will actually give you advice, support, or guidance through their wisdom or just through their open-mindedness. That's rare. But should you try it? Yeah, you should try it. And give it a shot and see what happens. You never know what's uh, going to be. Maybe you'll be a star. But don't go into it thinking you will be a star because you may not. So be ready for disappointment. And I'd say give it a uh, what you feel is a, a good amount of time. And then if, if really nobody's watching or you're, you know, you've streamed for two years and you've managed to have two viewers, uh, well, maybe it's not working out and you should try something else. Now, I did say 90% uh, of success was showing up, but the other 10% is hard work and researching the correct strategies to try and be successful. But if you put in the time and nothing, it's not working, well, then you gave it a shot, move on. It's like when I used to uh, uh, teach swimming lessons. I had this one kid, Andre, and his parents put him in swimming lessons, and he must have taken about 75 lessons with me. And the kid sank like a rock, and he, he was scared to put his face in the water. And finally, on his 75th report card, I wrote in there, uh, Andre sucks at swimming. He can't swim. Maybe you should put him in uh, a different sport. I talked to him, and he said that he really would like to try soccer. And uh, his parents read that and uh, went to my boss and complain and I got fired. Uh, now, hopefully Andre's playing soccer because he sucks at swimming. See, honesty does not pay. Now, <laughs> I was giving him advice, support and guidance. The kid sucked at swimming and his poor parents, you know, 90% uh, of success is showing up and he showed up 75 times and he still sucked. So it was time to move on, in my opinion. Now, let's, uh, let's get back to the game here because uh, you've, we've got a player here and He's just been hiding, and he's done pretty good. He's got four kills, drug Teehee in his little T. Look at this little TD. And what can he do? Look at his view range. Like, can he venture out, really? No. Uh, it sucks, right? He's a, <laughs> he's a tier three. He has, he's a, just a, a new guy, but he knows enough to not listen to morons. Uh, like this guy here. Uh, what is his name? Drufta. Uh, no help from TD, he says. Right? He's, he's dead in the Panzer 2J. And of course now his job is to uh, judge and ridicule and mock and uh, be a, a trolling ass uh, for the rest of the game. Not move on to the next game or do it. He's telling the guy now, uh, Delhi, go. That, that's the cruiser. And the cruiser's gonna listen to, listen to him and go. There he goes, there goes the cruiser. Yeah, Delhi, go. He went and uh, okay. that was good uh, advice, support and guidance. That's why you should almost never listen to people. Now watch this, watch this. Drug T, he, he says, well, where did that T-127 go? Maybe he's in that bush there. <laughs> uh, and while the Panzer 2J is berating him, fantastic job, right? He's, uh, <laughs> the Panzer 2J Drufta, they have similar lanes, names here, uh, berating and, uh, and, and ridiculing and judging mocking in the chat uh, meanwhile our guy here not listening to him uh, and then now look, look at the panzer draw is lose only for your information uh, do you think he's giving guidance and support i'm just letting you know that a draw is a loss just so for your information no i'm not interested uh, what is he trying to uh, help the guy out no what, what he's saying is uh, i don't want to lose uh, and i'm blaming it on you because i'm dead I'm a, a mocking, a judging, trolling ass that can't control myself, and I've died early, and now I'm blaming it on you that, that I may lose. This may be a loss for me. Can you please use the bush? Uh, please use the bush. You can't see. He, he doesn't know the, the guy's situation. He doesn't know that he has a 50% crew and, and no view range, and he'll get detected. Uh, the guy's trying to tell him. 
Uh, my crew is 50%. Can't see shit. Uh, reported for unfair gameplay. The Panzer 2J wants to report him. That, because he's trying to, see to give advice, support, and guidance. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, that's the whole point. Uh, you, you asked me, hey, Klaus, should, uh, give me some advice. Should I start a YouTube channel? channel? Should I start streaming? And my advice to you is don't listen to anyone's advice. Just do what you feel you want to do. Give it a good shot. Put in the time. Put in the work. And if it works out, you'll be, you'll be happily rewarded. And if it doesn't, uh, you gave it your best shot. That's, that's all you can do. That's my advice. Now let's watch the end here because it's absolutely classic. Drufta and the Panzer 2J, the prick. You will die now, he types in chat, just as his teammate wins the game. Victory for the guy that did not listen to the mocking, hating pricks. Now look at this. This, this little guy, <laughs> drug tee. Uh, not the greatest game, but he got six kills. Look at this. He only did 394 damage. He did his best in a stock 50% crew tank. And look at this guy in the Panzer 2J, probably cost him hundreds of dollars. He blocked 1200 uh, damage with his armor because it's a pay to win uh, tank. You know, you can take your $300 Panzer 2J uh, premium pay to win tank and stick it up your fucking ass. Because old drug Tehe here did not listen to your bitching and whining and he did his own thing and he won the fucking game for you. And I want to make this point, because this is really important, guys, that the, the one vocal prick in that game that berated him the whole time is what you will encounter. Whenever you pursue or do something new, or when you venture out beyond your comfort zone, if you start want to start a YouTube channel, streaming, or whatever it is you want to do in your life, you will encounter that invariably all the time. But you got to remember that that was just one guy there were 13 other teammates that probably thought, way to go, buddy, great game. And they, they're not necessarily going to let you know that. Maybe there's 15 enemies that lost that will look back and say, oh, that guy had a great game. So the, uh, the good is out there. Unfortunately, it's that the vocal trolling minority that dominates the, uh, the conversation, usually that one troll that probably made uh, old uh, drug Tehe feel bad the whole game. So my advice to you is if you're wondering whether you should pursue something is don't listen to people's advice because sometimes it's not advice, it's more judgment. Just do it, give it your best shot, and I wish you the best of luck.